Alright, a bit of a hiatus from videos, but um, get back into it. First of all, thanks to all my new subscribers. I had like 20 or 30 or something, and there I have 300 and something, because one of my old EG Civic videos got in the YouTube recommended. No, it's not a heat, but I um, appreciate the, the love. So, a um, bit of an update on where the car's at. So, um, can't quite remember, well, I don't know roughly where we were, but basically obviously all the tube frame was all fabbed up. Um, all the heat exchangers are mounted. Got oil cooler, intercooler, radiator, and the transmission cooler on that side. Uh, we've now got all the, it's been back and had all the piping done for the intercooler, um, which is looking looking pretty sharp, it's looking pretty, pretty together now. Uh, yesterday fired up for the first time, which is really cool. She's come back to life. A uh, bit of bleeding on the water radiator to do, and uh, what else is a power steering line leaking somewhere? And it's just got some stock spark plugs in which need to be changed out, but it's okay just for running now. So in three days time, it's going to dyno. So I'm just going to get some bits and pieces done now. Um, I've just made this here, which I'll show you quickly now. Um, other than that, uh, what else? So you've got no power steering here anymore. Um, and obviously no AC, haven't had that for a long time. So we had to get a nice wee K-tuned um, AC power steering deleter bracket and it moves the alternator as well down here, which we're very lucky because it's just cleared that there, just. But yeah, she's looking together. It's looking tough. Um, we'll get a start up of it today. We'll just do some work on some heat protection. Uh, we've got the... Our steering pump is now mounted there, which is a Holden Astra one. That's all plumbed in, wired in. Switch is on the dash there. But yeah, and that, like I say, three days to dyno and run her up, see what numbers she's going to make, and hopefully it's all good. So let's get into uh, doing some work. I'll show you the turbo beanie I built very quickly here, and we'll get on with it. So one of the things I made um, was a wee turbo beanie, um, just out of heat shielding. Just made this up, very very simple. Um, now what I'm going to do is just add these little, little springs here onto there so that when it's on it can basically spring load itself back to here so it doesn't move or fall off. There it is, finally installed. Uh, yeah I know it's not the prettiest, um, but that's functional, and that's, to be fair, what I care about most. Those little springs just come up, hook on there. Good as gold. Ah, job done. So, now like I say, we will move on to some heat shielding over there. So with rerouting, you know, well, remounting everything, catch cans, oil filters and that, there's the oil filter relocation mounted up in the back here uh, as you can see it's really quite close to the headers so what I'm going to do is bend up some heat shielding to go basically across here and block that off something to go through here um, just between the headers and the back of the head and just sort of join those two and then ideally I want to box that up across the back there also um, but we'll see. I'm going to start off with at least getting this oil filter with a shield bet uh, b between that and the headers. Um, and we'll go from there. If you haven't used heat shielding before, um, if you're in New Zealand, this stuff is available worldwide, but this is from Super Cheap itself. It's really nice stuff, really easy to work with, really moldable. Um, as you can see from the, the beanie that I built, um, and yeah, it's a really nice product. This is sort of what I'm thinking. Um, 
that's on the back of the head to just sort of you know give a wee bit of protection from the headers to the to the head and valve cover um this here is the shield basically for the most part to just um keep the oil filter tucked away from the heat protruding from these um i can fix those together in that corner which i'm not sure i've got enough shielding for uh, at the moment is just actually come right across the back here uh, protect the gearbox um, cooler pump uh, as you can see that's really close to the to the downpipe um, but I think for the most part like I say this this molds and bends really easy and that's um, and it's gonna do a good job of just keeping that oil cooler uh, oil filter a little bit cooler this as far as I've got for the moment and we notch for that one um, the breather line and just the uh, oil feed for the turbo just sort of ducks in through there and out there and I've just bolted that corner thing because it's fairly well held in um, the next one that goes across the back there we'll just bolt onto that one and hold that straight but for now I'm out of um, heat shielding and any other bits I've got are big enough so that's it for the meantime uh, so what we're going to do is get on to starting the car I'm not going to be running uh, these uh, particular this particular fan shroud that was on the car previously um, obviously because it's a massive blockage of the radiator uh, with all these panels um, here I'll chuck it on and show you so that's it on there um, and while the fan you know the fans are really good and how they mount and all that obviously there's massive uh, restriction through there which is which is pretty hopeless for a track car um, in fact you don't even need fans when you're actually on the track running and the air's flowing through it they're a hindrance so i'll probably run one fan for the pits or something i'm not sure but i'm going to start the car plug these in uh, and just have them wait till they turn on try and get a couple some heat cycle going and get this bottom hose warmed up and hopefully get the system bled entirely Everything's working as it should.
Cool, so I've got that uh, fitting all tidied up and back on there. And just while that pump is sitting off, uh, this is, as I mentioned, I think a Holden Astra power steering pump. And this bracket here is is really good bracket. Um, it's from Low Fabrications in Australia. I think it's lowfabrications.com.au, and it is a mint bracket as far as um, fitting the the pump to. Everything lines up perfect. Super easy to put together uh, and bolt on. Definitely would recommend um, recommend these. All right, she's back together. Uh, we'll fire it up and hopefully no leaks and I'll show you what uh, these things sound like because they freaking sound like a, um, a jet plane taken off. So we'll fire the ignition on. Neutral just in case. Uh, so the power steering is this one now. And we'll, that's the line we're checking. That's on. Way there, and if I just yank on the steering wheel a bit, you hear it crank up. So it's good to have uh, power steering again because this thing is a pig to move, especially once the these are only the eight and a half, but once the um, ten and a half are on, it's going to be impossible to move without power steering. So, yeah, success. Right, that's the car sorted now for the meantime. Um, yep, she is ready to go to the tuners, which I'm going to load up shortly and uh, chuck on the trailer. Uh, Tuesday, it's now Sunday, so day after tomorrow, I'll go to tuners. Hopefully, I'll get some footage of that. Um, see how I get on, and hopefully, I'll have some good news. Uh, about some power it's made and how it ran and that we're all looking good and essentially ready to roll on the track again they're setting up um well they're gonna have a look at the flat shift on the sequential as well and hopefully get there a bit more dialed in make sure it's shifting through all the gears nicely um yeah the ignition cut just wasn't really playing ball last time so that's that uh next video like i say hopefully got some dyno runs in it see if i get some footage and some good news. Until then.